This is Ramsey Salty, and welcome to a new episode of the Arabology Online series. As you can tell, I am super excited today because after so many years of following this amazing young man, I finally have the chance to speak to the one and only Msallam, who is with me on Zoom. Marhaba, Msallam. Marhaba, hi. I'm, I'm very <laughs> glad to be on your show. I'm very honored, actually. <laughs> Habibi, the honor is mine. Where are you? Are you in Russia? <laughs> I'm, in Moscow. I'm in Moscow. I'm in Moscow and like the Mauka in, in, in a place called like the Victory Park. Oof. So, uh, Hadiqat al Nasr or what's the name? Yeah, Hadiqat al Nasr is like, the territory. This is the territory that I, I live in and uh, it's very close to all the monuments that uh, dedicated for the. the, the the World War II, the, the Holocaust victims, and, and, and a lot wow. of things. It's very beautiful wow. area. Wow, wow. And how long have you been in Russia now, uh, Salam? Three years. I've been here for a few years studying. I just finished my master's. I, I, I did the master's in uh, ceramics. Yeah. Ceramics. I was in Mabruk, I, and I, when we first started to talk, you were still in, in Jordan, and then I remember you got the chance to go study uh, at Moscow State Academy for Fine Arts, right? Yes. And, and, uh, and mashallah, now you've finished uh, your degree over there, mm -hmm. and th throughout this time, you never stopped creating music. Yeah, and that's probably going to be my first question. Are you, I mean, when you, I introduce you, what do I say? Rapper? Lyricist? Do I say fine art? Do I say artist? Do I say I, ceramics? I, I'm, comfortable. <laughs> I'm, I'm comfortable with, 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 with titling myself by audio, audio visual artist. <laughs> because like it's, I've said this many times, like it's, it's, it's very hard sometimes. It's not enough to express yourself through music or through literature or through painting. Maybe sometimes you need to combine multiple forms of art to, to express a certain point in your, in your character or, or something you wanted to tell the people or to share with the people. Yeah. Yani, do you feel into your uh, your uh, identity as, let's say, in, uh, as an artist, as a visual artist, informs your music as well? Do you bring in to your music aspects from your multidimensional career? Actually, actually, it's uh, I, I hate being egoist. I, I'm trying, like my guilt, <laughs> my sin is being egoist, like pride and and, and those things. It's like mm, let's say. When I remember all the figures that I, histori historical figures that I, I admire and I look up to, I find them all combined, like uh, astrologists with, uh, with artists, uh, with inventors, with like multiple, multiple professions and multiple specialities they had. And I'm, I'm trying to live this status. Uh, as far as I see, Habibna, you are the future in so many ways. My generation tried and uh, to pave the way and uh, good or bad, you guys are taking over a very, very unstable world. And I think more than ever, we need music <laughs> like yours. We need music that is, that takes us away, but that has a substance. Let me say that your album, Dyslexia, is being released this month in October and that we have the honor to be speaking with you just as the album is being released. Um, Salam, has the album been officially uh, released yet? No, two singles from the album have been released. Uh, the first one was Dash uh, al um, um, It's It's okay. The, the rhythm of the beat is Iraqi, Chobi sound. And the spirit of lyricism in it is a, 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 a Falahi Palestinian dialect, which <laughs> I inherited from my family. And it's 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 literally it's it's it was an experiment three years ago when I did it first time. I did a song called the Jaman Anhim, where I sang like literally an old Palestinian lady from a village. 
<laughs> I remember. Uh, I remember. Uh, that was on the, on the album Postcolonialism, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you, you, you built on that with the new one and took yeah, it to yeah, another yeah, level. Share, this is personal, but let me share it with you. I, I, I hate to repeat myself in music. I, I, I like to invent new, new ways, new, 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 uh, to dis discover, actually, not invent, like, not, not to be that arrogant. Uh, to experiment in music and I, I, I love not to repeat myself. And if I did this form of a, of a, of a song, I, I use this technique, I hate, I hate to repeat it, but exactly in this territory where like, I need to double down on this genre or in this style because nobody's doing it. And I'm afraid like nobody's remembering even these melodies anymore. At the time you were living in Jordan, Jordan and yeah. you did the song Chawa and it was with, who was it with? Um, Chris the uh, Zobby, Zobby, shout out to Chris. It's a, a series, it's, it's, it's a theme song from a, a political, social Syrian series from before the revolution called Mafi Amal, There Is No Home. Imagine like they are, they were prophesizing or something. The words and melodies of that song, like it's not, it's not gonna work out with you. Nobody will listen to you. Nobody will uh, uh, work out. And that, it felt, felt so heavy <laughs> on me. So I said like, <laughs> there was this almost dialogue with you sampling this um, uh, theme song from a Syrian TV series, bringing it in and then responding to her. It almost felt to me like you were responding to the world. <laughs> I think that video, Salam, I mean, launched you into the stratosphere. And, and it was just like, I, when you told me that it was sort of a home production, I couldn't believe it. It was just, it I'm went so the well. The producer, the producer, hey. the producer who's behind all my three. I am a Salih, He's brilliant, man. He's he's <laughs> brilliant. You surround yourself with people who believe in you and who are brilliant. Let me let me you do a shout out here to Rashad Shawa and Yazan Yazan Nabulsi. Uh, you know, I got to speak with them before I got to speak with you, Salaf. Just the the love they have for you. The, uh, they're so enthusiastic about your album, and they're so excited that you and I are going to speak. And they just this is really typical of the way you surround yourself with people who are really caring about you, whether I'm artistically or professionally. I'm, I'm very grateful. And actually, talking about Yasin and Rashad, basically they are so passionate. For music in general, they they like like they started this record label just because they are so passionate about music. And I'm, I was very I was lucky to be the first artist they signed. Yeah. Well, and they are awesome. Just like right. they we should say that the name is Keith by... Records, right? Keith <laughs> Records, um, and you are the first uh, artist that they've signed so far. And hopefully, Keith Records will continue to uh, bring a uh, talent that is often marginalized or overlooked in the Arab world. But we're, in the, it, we're it, trying, it, we're trying actually, we're trying like, 
hopefully after this album, th things gonna change and uh, we will be like, but by releasing this album, I believe we're taking a serious steps into that, into achievement. Into achievement. Definitely. <laughs> and I do want to get into the album because I'm too excited to contain myself here. I'm selling, but before that, let me say that the, after, after that first album, The Last Step in 2016, of course, then you released the album Post-Colonialism that was in 2018. And I think that album really, really left a mark on the scene. And then here we are, October 2020. This is the third officially released album. Dyslexia just came out. Mabruk. I have been sampling it track by track on never ending repeat. And let me say, from tributes to the greats like Fayrouz, Farid Al Atrash, Abdel Halim Hafiz, uh, Egyptian actor Saeed Saleh, all the way to um, Tamir Nafar from Dam, Adan Wakim. I mean, they are all in this album. This is not an album. This is an encyclopedia. This is is a greatest tracks of 2020 already in my uh, mind. Mabruk Habibi, did you expect the album to come out or to uh, end up sounding the way it did when you were working on it all, all, all this time? Actually, actually, thank you for your kind words, actually, because it's, uh, it's, uh, like, it's big for me. Spasiba, thank you. Um, Spasiba, Hadabir, Rusia. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Arabs tend to mix languages, you know. Hey, this, hey, you know, yeah. Like, 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 I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I it's been a while, like for me, it's, it's been like a quarantine. It felt like quarantine before yeah. the quarantine itself because like I'm in Moscow, he's in Amman and we're working online oh, like on the album. And this was before the Corona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been, yeah, it, yeah. Takes, it takes time to produce an album. Like I, I recorded almost 40 songs to, 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 to package this 10, 10 songs. And we took a lot of people, close people opinions, which I, I care about. And um, the album represents very significant period of my life, actually. As a, I, I, I believe, like when I write music, I write it as a diary. It's it's my personal journal, and it's. Um, well, I'm going to be taking you, I'm going to be taking you through the album track by track we, uh, and just get some comments for you. Let me just try to give you uh, some of the reactions that I've also received to your music and hear what you have to say about it. And so the album Dyslexia, again, everybody, I am not saying this, Mujamale, is probably the best album of 2020 so far. It is a wealth of genre. You've got a hip hop, you have got classic, it just all comes together. And there's also an ode to the greats. And I think that's something that Jay Z has done, something that Kanye has done in terms of bringing, you know, Nina Simone and other people. You are doing the same thing, only you are paying homage to our greats, to Fayrouz, to Abdel Halim, to Farid Al Atras, all within the scope of an album that itself is addictive. The beats are. I don't want to cuss on the show, but they're friggin' awesome. Uh, let's begin with uh, uh, Ferdi, Ferdi Namli. Now, again, <laughs> I think for people who don't understand, the first track on the album is called Ferdi, Ferdi the Ant. Uh, can I ask you, and I know, uh, but uh, can you tell me or tell our uh, viewers about Ferdi the Ant and what that means to your generation? Okay, Ferdi the Ant, before, <laughs> before the cable channels and the satellites and, and those things, it was, it, it was uh, like three, three channels on the Jordanian national uh, TV. There was just three channels, the English channel, the Arabic channel, and maybe a sport or Syrian channel, I don't know. So at, at six in the morning, every day from <laughs> Sunday to Thursday, it was, they show at six in the morning before the, 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 the good, good, good morning show, cartoons for half an hour. 
And I used to wake up because my mom like prays the dawn prayer and then she wakes up to prepare food and I was very, very small kid, like preschool. And I, I used to, it was so addictive for me, like Ferdi, the, the aunt who has adventures with other, other <laughs> And like <laughs> with the spider is the evil and, and, and he has this personality where like he's a, just a cool guy and there's like this ladybug who, who's like <laughs> he always save her but like it's, it's she, she's his like mate or something <laughs> so, so just just like to be to be myself to, to remind myself that I'm I'm Ferdy, and it's been very hard three years since I released that album, or two years. So I wanted to say, like, I'm back, like Ferdy. Ahlan bi Ferdy bi awdati. Ahlan bi Ferdy bi awdati. Ahlan bi Ferdy bi awdati. Ana nam le, ma haddish indu say sabre. Habe ban saaf a sople, ma akshit hasib no problem. Let me move to it to number two. Uh, okay, P M W. L, oh my God. and a critique of uh, sexism, patriarchy, Salam style, sampling Abdel Halim Hafiz al Andalib al Asmar. The verse, the verse that Abdel Halim says, like Daniyama tabki la kufakirni baghni la ya habibi. It's too, it's too, it's too strong. Like I remember this movie. I literally every time they shown it on the TV as a kid, I sat down and watched it until the end. Because this song, like, it's, it's, he's basically saying, uh, I'm like, I'm always like, how can I translate it in a sim simply, like, I'm always crying to you and you're thinking that I'm singing for you. But you want to speak in Arabic, so you want to speak in Arabic. It's not even so, it's not just songs, it's, <laughs> It's a dreams. It's it's everything. It's like background stories. It's it's dreams. It's 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 nightmares. Sometimes it's like strong moments, sad moments in your life. You need to merge it. I, I don't know. Like like listen. The first verse of the song when I said like Idi bitrojo مش عارف ألف مش عارف ألف ألف أزنجف مش عارف أغني وزف لا عريسك لا شهيدك. Yeah, it's I'm, I'm talking about serious things here and, yeah. and, and serious like physical and emotional statuses. It's, 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 it's very hard. <laughs> الشرقية لا توقفش لا لا الشرطة أم كمان وقف لو بحضنا كل واحد بيدوف عندي بدل لفلو حرف الألف ترك الكوكب وراي حلف ملف ترك الكوكب وراي حلف ملف مات الولد I mean I'm just looking at the lyrics حبيبي they are potent they are potent there is in these high powered lyrics and snappy like there's this snappy electro trap chat uh, track that is just it takes you away it takes you away then just when you think you're being taken away you bring Abdel Halim you bring Abdel Halim Hafiz into this with the track we're talking about and you say yeah Andalib قلهم شو القصة هسا and then we bring in Abdel Halim. I mean, it is bringing my generation and your generation together. <laughs> There is a lot that is going on in the middle of the There is a lot going on. For my people, for myself, even on a personal level, like it's, it's, it hurts me. It hurts me. It's, there's a lot of things going on. It's too much. Like, we need to calm down everybody. Like, uh, I don't blame anybody, and I blame everybody at the same time. That's a I good like, way of putting it. 
good way of it, putting it. It, it. It's very, it's very, it's very sophisticated, and it, it's it's heartbreaking. So I'm, st- I don't know why sometimes like my personal uh, emotions and feelings mixed up with with my like if you say like the identity, uh, the, the journey to find your identity as a person. It's it's also something I I struggle with. Yeah. And it's probably <laughs> going to be a lifelong struggle. I'm saying, but that's clear. And the standard that you just say, but they talk about it. But then we're going to talk. But you are. But this album truly is is a mature. I'm saying, I think. And I think the track, Arif Inak, is really uh, representative of the new sound. First of all, let's say, let's tell everybody that this is a, a collaboration with Adam. Wakim, she has such a beautiful voice, and the way your voice went with hers is unimaginable. And you're also sampling Farid Al Atrash, Malish Gherak, all of this with a video clip that rocks that's available now on YouTube. I mean, what is this? This is not a track. This is a story. This is this could be a book on its own. Arif Inak, can you tell me a little bit about your collaboration with Ramallah based Adan uh, Wakin and how this track came about, Habibna? Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you for this introduction. Well, like it's too much. Uh, Adan Wakin, Adan Wakin, she's based in Haifa. She's a Palestinian uh, Israeli. And uh, I, I, I like to connect with, with, with the Arabs of my, my home, like my motherland, if I can say, put it like this, because like my father is, like, was born in Hebron and my mother was born in Hebron too. And they were like, they refugee to Jordan and I'm like second generation refugee, if you can say it. And... So Adam Wakim, just choosing Adam Wakim to, to be part of this project is like a statement like we're, we're together in this, we're still together, guys. And she's a very, very talented vocalist and she wrote a very beautiful verse, um, um, even like the very, very funny bar about like she's, she's stuck in the, the dimension uh, 137 from Rick and Morty. To say like this dimension is is, is not is not mine. I'm I'm very I'm I'm stuck here, and it's, it's, a, it's a very powerful message. And the video to Tanya Marar, literally, this song is like this. I never collaborated with with. I, 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 it's, maybe it's my mistake, but like there there's in this song three females like pioneered and and participated in this project. First, Adan Wakim and uh, Tani Marar, the director of the video, and uh, Salma Malhas, uh, our, our young star, youngest star maybe in Jordan. Yeah. So like those three uh, brilliant she was, women. She, she was in Jin, wasn't she in the, in the Netflix series Jin? Yes, yes, she, she, like, she, she been in this controversial uh, series of Jin on Netflix. And this this series, like her her role in the series, uh, caught a lot of attention, a lot of controversy in Jordan and then the Middle East, like uh, um, op- op- in, in opposition and in favor of liberty and in favor of of of, of everybody. Like is, is, is step back, we are here, we are millennial, and we are cool, and we mm-hmm. nobody can control us. That's it. So it's very powerful. I love that you brought her into the video. And I love how you're working with these three women to give sort of a voice to your generation. Uh, that that video, please, ladies and gentlemen, just go check it out. You, you even have the Arabic subtitles on the YouTube video with the captions. And it's an experience to watch that video, Habib. It's like almost like a, like a little film to me. It's not a, a, a music clip, it's a film, it's a story. <laughs> عارف انك طالع هسه ورايح تخلص دي سامع قلبك بخفق ممكن اعمل منه بي لاحق يا ابني الدنيا عباره عن سلام مدخن كتير اوعى تخلي الزاكي يفوز على القوي اللي ساكن فيه سلم وكوى حبك الهوى طب ما هي مش سلعة بنصنعها كلهم بدع فن عربي انجليزي ما 
مالي كل كتابي كلها تواريخ عين شكل وزيح اللي بفهم بيقدرني اللي بفهمش ولا كبير قز كل شي كل شي بالتفصيل برضه حيا رفاه وعليل وبرد عارف انك طالع هسه ورايح تخلص دي I don't want to, you know, take too much of your time, but we need to talk about the hit of, of the album, at least the first track that was released. That's Sher Hosrum, no? Am I? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you why I released it the first song. Because I felt like this, this era, you need to collect views. And this song wasn't meant to be view collector. <laughs> But in this era, we need as an artist to, 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 for people to value you as in, in, and to put you in certain category. You need views. I don't know why, but this is reality and I cannot deny it. And this song is, 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 is like I tried two years ago with another song. That's the way, like this gets, takes me back to what I started with this interview talking about. Like I repeated myself in this song. Mm. Almost. It's not, it's not, I didn't repeat myself. I created this fusion. So I cannot say, but like nobody can blame me. But for me, it's just a personal thing. When I look at myself in the mirror, I copycatted myself. <laughs> and that's not cool. <laughs> but, but it's like what you said, Salam. nobody's doing this to bring a Zafi song into the age of hip hop. And, and uh, I think you are the first to do this. So I think that, that it does... Uh, warrant you sort of developing it further. This is the first time an Arab musician has done this, I think, from your generation. And it's working. Let's also tell people that you're not only bringing that in, but there's also the Chobi sound from the Iraqi uh, um, music traditions. You bring that with the Zaffi. I don't know how to say it. But how are we going to explain to our American listeners or viewers what a Zeffe is during okay. a wedding and how you took that and put it into a song? Okay, <laughs> Zeffe is, is an oriental way of, of, of like when, when, when the groom approached the bride and the, the wedding day, uh, he like people around him surround him with, with music, traditional music and and this traditional music like while he's stepping like walking toward the house of the pride. And the music for me, like there's l- lots of certain types, like there's the Hayye for men. The specific thing that I took, I took the old lady's way of harmonizing the traditional sound in this specific day in this specific culture, in this specific time. And uh, 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 sampled it on, on this track, it's which not, by the... Like, 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 listen, listen, like, like old ladies used to do like something. C- can you do it? Anything, anything like... <laughs> And when, when, like, there is no words here, but I'm, I'm memorizing, like, some, some of the melodies. Hey. And now, as, 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 a creator, as a creator, I just, like, put my, my, my flavor and spin to it and add words. <laughs> this harmony. Yalla, nefrah. Bikafin nizad. Bikafin nisled. We yalla, nizad. تشير حصر منا أخضر حامد ساجي تشير حصر منا أخضر حامد ساجي يقعد ويتحنى الفرح اليوم مش عالي يقعد ويتحنى الفرح اليوم مش عالي قال لي يا عم جايب راس نخاجي قال لي يا عم جايب راس نخاجي إن ما خذ البنت حارق أرض الميعاني إن ما خذ البنت حارق أرض الميعاني Um, Salam, can I move to seaweed? Seaweed, yes. Goes. Seaweed. Ah, what, what, what is the story behind the track Seaweed on your new album? Seaweed, actually, okay. Me and Ayman, shout out to Ayman Saleh, the producer. I always wanted to shout out my producer on a song. And not, not just shout out, like, yeah, 
like I wanted to write on the lyrics and the verse this person's name as as one of my like rhymes. He's Ayman. I love him so much. <laughs> What's his nickname, uh, Habibi? Uh, his uh, the Arkeducer. The yeah. Arkeducer because he's a producer and architect. Hey, like Arkeducer. I love it. I love that name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Give him a shout out. What 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 happened was like on, on my albums like there is always a project that I produced myself and I put a, a project that we took from another producer and the rest me and Ayman and there is a project or like some projects are Ayman alone he's like he he masters he he puts like this beat from Ayman Ayman vibe with Ayman vibe in it so those kind of beats I love and I admire because I want I'm an like I'm an personality to be on the album, 100% without me interfering in it. So, this song exactly was written to say how cool we are together, but in in a very uh, kind of uh, liberated, uh, don't give a damn about anything vibe and and like it's it's a bad bad. A word, seaweed, tomatic, tachlis, e, wakwain, rohit, aiman, albeat, hexar, with wheat, a witch hat, tachbeat, mawarit, but dear, but dachin, tafaid, keep the rugging talak, mushik was amel, halak, halia, masabaka, had you had a salah, and waraga, who good lujo, but other as I can sell it, but low ha and woo in Serga, mar, heart is added in Sarah. Anyway, let me move on to track number six. And this one has not only a collaboration with another amazing uh, hip hop artist, Damir Nafar from Dam, who we really, really, really respect here on the Arabology show. Uh, but also, if you look behind me, on the wall behind me, you will see Fairuz, who, of course, as somebody who was born and raised in Lebanon, I grew up to her music. So for me to see someone, a young musician like yourself, say, Ila Fairuz, fi mini kamel badiki, kafeti, kafeti, Allah khaliki. Yani, I got goosebumps, ya yeah, ibni, when I heard that tribute to Fairuz as part of a duet with Tamar Nafar. It's called Wala Khatar Ala Bali. What is your comment about this? It's it's very sophisticated song because like I shout out to Tamar Nafar first of all. And God bless Fairuz, our queen. Like imagine like the last the last time the the French president, which is like he he he's been doing something very very controversial <laughs> lately. Macron. <But> uh, <laughs> uh, he visited Fairuz in her house. Actually, that for me was like a political stand of point, like to say to the the groups and uh, parties of Lebanon that <laughs> an artist represents Lebanon best, better than all of you. That was a very, very smooth, cool movement to say like, stop this bullshit happening in Lebanon. But he's controversial and he like, like th this month is, is very hard for, for, for the French people. We are like, all my sympathy for, for the person who uh, You're, you're talking about the awful incident that happened in Paris yes, where it's a all teacher, my a teacher and, was, and, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And no, I mean, uh, like it puts pressure on the Muslim community of France, which is like already in, 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 in it goes through some things, but like, uh, we're sorry as I, I condemn this act as a Muslim. Obviously, you know, of like, course. It's, I think, especially as a Muslim, it, you but that's the problem that we need to say it. Yeah. Like, we should say it too. And uh, but it's, it's it's complicated. It's very complicated. Yeah. yeah. No, but 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 back to this song, Habib. Now, where there's also an ode to Egyptian uh, composer uh, uh, Omar Khurshid Kaman. Uh, no, can you uh, can you tell me about the, how this track came about? How you and Tamir Nafar decided that you were gonna create I, I, Wala Khatar Ala Bali? I've been trying to contact Tamer for maybe the last three years to do a collabo and we, we tried like the first song that Tamer and I uh, was trying to, to, to do together was Belgica from the post-colonialism uh, album. But it didn't work out because he was busy. And on this project, 
actually between the, this album and, and the new the new one and the previous one I, I visited Palestine I've seen I've seen the Holy Land myself and I got some incidents there that like left a lot of marks on, on my personality and Tamir is like from there and he's one of the finest and oldest like not in, in an age in, in, in like like he's one of the old school guys you know but it can I mean the, the lyrics are truly truly amazing <laughs> Let me move to the next one. Um, so that is La Malama, which means no blame no judgment and uh this uh sort of experimental musical track has very unexpected shifts in rhythms i think more than any other track what is your um well what's your feeling about this track this track i produced myself first of all like the I, like this is my solo project in the album and it's um it's it tells a lot. It tells it like it, I'm talking about a, a, a heartbroken man who's like been through things and like, and he's talking to it. I'm talking about music. Like I'm talking to my music as a woman. La ma, with the shufe, kay maka, ana fiya, sart hafale, slube, was bahab gulle, malube. It's it's complicated. I hear that there's going to be two versions, an explicit version and a cleaned up version for this song. Is that what I understood from the guys at Keith yeah, Records? Yeah, of course, of course, of course, because not, not all, all people, like, some people find that offensive to, to curse or to say bad words, but like, I, I don't, I, I express myself in my music and, and literally in this song, the, 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 even the context that this cuss word was, was mentioned, <laughs> It, it works. works. <laughs> Can I go to the track uh, Made in Mama and this Ode to Mothers? Now, suddenly in this track, Absalom takes us from highly charged sort of uh, messages to a very soothing. Um, a sound that celebrates mothers, the miracles of life, things like that. Yani, who would expect this album that's already taken us on a multi-layer journey to take us here now? What can you tell me about Made in Mama? Made in Mama. Made in Mama, basically, I always wanted to mention my mom and to mention moms in general in one, in, in, in one of my work. I remember doing a, a, a song, Mother, for my mom. As when I was starting rap and I was so new, <laughs> I was so dumb. But like I sampled something very beautiful from a cartoon called Me and My Brother and Our Achi, where the sample was like, It was, it was like I, I, I did a song, very sad song. And I remember like, no, now looking back, Mentioning mother in this context where I say, like, I'm the result of my mom, I'm not the result even of my land, of anything. Everything about me is a result of my mom. I am made in mama. Wow. That's, that's the best I can, I, can, I can say that the best way I can, I can say thank you to my mom and to, to acknowledge that I am who I am because of this woman exactly. You know, it's very... Yeah. 
<تصفيق> يعني خليتنا نجمع يا زلمه نحن عم اخذنا بهالالبوم من الدمار للدموع وما وقفت حاضر مش عيد هاد العين هاد الدين هاي الرجل برضه الدم برضه الجد والمري برضه الصوت برضه اللون والاعصاب والشعرات مصلعين حتى الكف او المخ والغمزات الحلوين والامراض الموروثين وان المختلفين لغة الزان والدليل حضرت السرير والصبر أعلى كبيرة في أعلى الراس وكل شي فيه دم الحامي بالشرايين Let's finish with the last track and then maybe ha- speak to you in Arabic a little bit. Uh, let- let's talk about Ya Alam Al Hal. Actually, that's the next to last track. Um, and suddenly, here we're hearing Muslim chants. We're hearing uh, uh, reminiscent of Al Hajj. Uh, wh- what's going on in this track, Ya Alam Al Hal? Yeah, okay. Um, I I grew up I grew up like rebellious. I, I rejected the religion, I rejected faith, I rejected a lot of things in my life. Uh, growing up, I was so like literally anti-religion. <laughs> and then like when I I don't know what happened in Moscow. I was like I found myself vulnerable so much that I wanted to believe and I wanted to to reconnect with my creator. And I wanted to include my art, like the best way I can represent and talk to somebody or to do something is just like music. It's one, I told you, I want to express myself sometimes in a painting, sometimes in a song. So I wanted to say like, uh, to pray for him, to ask things that personal, very personal things. Like I asked God to give me, like not to, to make me, to make me able to be a father. That's very, like, very, very personal, very personal, very fragile things. I felt like in this song, I, I was so fragile. I was talking to my God, literally. <laughs> لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك يا عالم الحال قد ضاق بالحال ما خاب من ساه انت دايما في البال يا ربي ارضي ارزق عني نهدي جو لا تهدني It seems to me, and I would never comment on somebody else's spiritual journey, obviously, but it seems to me that you're also on a spiritual journey in this album. And rather than completely rejecting a religion, you're kind of incorporating certain aspects that are helping you grow and 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 deal with your spiritual journey, wherever that may lead you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I consider myself a spiritual person, not a religious person. Habibna. And, and, and then we need to end with the last track. Yani, this is what I'm saying. Like now, now suddenly we are paying an ode to Saeed Saleh, Madrasa wow. Mushagibin. <laughs> rest in peace, rest in peace, Saeed Saleh. This is my idol. He's been my idol and he will be always my idol. Uh, let's let, let's really tell people the track is called Ana Kan Maaya. Ana Kan Maaya, I was with me. Uh, we hear late actor, comedian, uh, Egyptian Saeed Saleh from Madras al is it? Is that, is that where you sample from? It's Or from Ayal Kibrit. Ayal Kibrit. Oh, yes. So he was, of course, and in my generation, we grew up watching Madras and Musharibin. We have such, I mean, he was, he was such an amazing actor. Everyone he's talks very, about Adel Imam, but he's just as good as Adel Imam, if not better. For me, for my personal taste, Saeed Saleh is, is, is better than Adel Imam. I, I agree with you. I think, uh, I mean, Allah tawal umru had an imam, but I think he, he, he kind of didn't receive, Saeed did not receive maybe. Yeah, because the, he uh, was jailed. Because he was jailed. Because he was, he was a free person. Because he didn't give a damn about the restriction that you shouldn't talk about this uh, topic. You shouldn't talk about that. No, criticize. If you have the power to criticize and you have 
some art form or something to criticize anything you want and you feel to crit like criticizing, criticize it. And he was jailed. And that's where he became like not, not one of the best actors. Now he became like second role actor, you know? <laughs> العيال ثارت العيال حبست العيال قلبت النظام فرحت العيال عملت اللي ما حدا عمله العيال منك العيال من this album, In Dyslexia, you've taken us on your journey, but in many ways, you've also helped us go on our own journey. This album of 10 tracks, you said you brought it down from 30 tracks to 9 or 10 tracks here, uh, is officially released. And again, I want to tell everybody, we need to support artists like Imsallam. We need to go download the album. We need to talk about this. We need to share the songs. I think we've had enough of Nancy Ajram and commercial music that has its place, it's beautiful, but what is it doing to change realities that young people like him Salam are facing every day? Habibi, I want to talk to you about the Arabic because it's not easy to talk about the program without hearing from you as a example for the Arabic for the viewers the Arab in America especially who love you the Urdu and the Palestinian and so on what do you think about this for a minute? a minute to talk about the جمهوركم في امريكا بالباك عربي اوكي مساكم يسعد قلبك شكرا لك طبعا بدي احكي عنك ساعه مش دقيقه حبيبي شكرا لك اي ابريشيت يو سو ماتش وللناس اللي بيسمعونا مان الفن عم عم بصير عم بصير كثير في شغلات كثير كويسه عم بتصير عندنا في المنطقه بس بدك بدك تتحرك لها يعني انت مش بكفي ب كاونتر اكتف اتس نوت اتس نوت اكتف لك بدك تكون متحرك بدك انت تمشي تحاول تو ابروتش ثينجز انك توصل وتحقق احلامك او تحقق اي شيء جواتك عم بينخزك اي شيء بدك اياه روح اعمله بس تستناش حدا ما تم البولينج بكفي بكفي بولينج احنا وي بولي ايتش اذر لوت صح وهذا الالبوم وهذا الالبوم مش هيك هو عباره عن ذس البوم از جاست لايك مسلم عم عم كالمينج داون اند ام جاست سبيك نوت انجري اني مور لا بس مع ذلك يعني في نقد كثير بدنا لا اشياء زي النظام الابوي للتحرش للتنمر كله موجود بهالالبوم بس مع ذلك مثل ما قلنا بالانجليزي في عندك هال هالاحترام وهالمحبه للعظماء من فيروز لفريد الاطرش لعبد الحليم حافظ اللي هم قبل جيلك يا ابني فنحن لما جيلي يسمع البومك ويحس بنفس العاطفه اللي ممكن يحسها شاب بعمرك هذا معناه انه هذا البوم يليق باذن بدنين كل مستمع مهما يكون عمره وهذا مسلم هديب بالنسبه لي هذا هو روعه مسلم وديسلكسيا الالبوم الف مبروك ليتس تيل ايفريبادي ات از افيلبل رايت اون اون ديفرنت ميديا بيبل كان جو داونلود ات فروم اي تونز تو سبوتيفاي اتس افيلبل ناو مسلم مان شكرا لك شكرا لك كثير عن جد انا بحبك وهي كانت جزء من احلى المقابلات وحتى الكونفرسيشنز اللي انا عملتهم باخر 10 سنين في حياتي حبيبي يعني انا كثير بحبك <تصفيق> واللي بيسمعونا يا جماعه الخير روحوا اسمعوا ديسلكسيا ديسلكسيا زي ما حكى يعني انا 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 اللي عملته ما بعرف بس بحكي لكم انه اتس ا بريليانت البوم روحوا اسمعوه وتشيل واذا مسلم ما حكى انا انا بدي اعيد وانا اللي بدي احكي وخلي كل حد يعيش بس هاي ما تستعنى انه ليف اند ليت ليف بس بس حتى حتى الالبوم تايتل يعني ديسلكسيا هي كمان انا ما راح ادخل بالموضوع هلا بس كثير ناس مثلك مسلم عندنا بالوسط العربي كان عندهم ديسلكسيا بس ما حدا فهمان بالموضوع وكبروا ببيئه مدرسيه وكان في تحديات الواحد يفكر طب ليش انا مش فاهم الشيء بعدين لما فهمتها ليتر ان لايف اي ثينك ات ريلي هيلب يو فكمان في تحيه لك لانك عم تحكي عن موضوع ابصر لك من شاب مثلك هلا بالاردن يمكن كان عم بيواجهوا 
بعض المشاكل اللي هي إلها حل واللي هي بس الدياجنوسس and a new way of learning يعني من جميع النواحي اجتماعيا سياسيا وعاطفيا حققت لنا مغامرة ورحلة فنية موسيقية رائعة يا ابني thank you for being with me أنا يعني whole hour of interrogation الله يعينك نازل فيك تراك ورا تراك ولبيتنا no, <تصفيق> Habibi, from California to Russia uh, with love. Uh, uh, yeah, Salam, I'm going to be playing your album all day today. It's Sunday here on a loop, and I think by next week I will know the lyrics by heart. Thank you, Habibi. Shukran. Shubuulu berusi. Espasiba dobe. Espasiba li. Oh, merci beaucoup. دير بالك على حالك يا ابني الله يحميك والله يحفظك وthank you for your time and for the amazing album for this interview.